all packed up for another trip to Quebec. This time, I'll be working with my fellow techs at the Saint Laurent showroom before heading even further east to Quebec City. If you haven't seen the previous video shot during the August Civic Long Weekend, click above or in the description to catch up. Before we get started on this recent trip, I'm going to answer some questions that I've received from the first video. Why don't you do a review of the VF8? As an employee of VinFast, even when trying to be as unbiased and objective as possible, there is still a conflict of interest. As such, I'm sticking to quantitative experiences, showing measurable real-world values such as consumption, charging, and mileage. How many stops are required to go from Toronto to Montreal? Only one at the Mallory Town en route. The previous stop was for lunch, but there was no charging. This August trip was done during summer temperatures, and I'm used to taking the battery down to single digits before charging. However, most drivers will charge at 10 to 20% or even higher, and as the temperature drops below 10 degrees, two charging stops will be required. Why is there a warning triangle on the dash all the time? This is because one of the drive aids has been turned off. The speed limit warning. So you turn the chime on, light goes off. You turn the light warning off, you're gonna get the warning again. The speed limit warning deactivated. So first 100 kilometers, we're doing about 28 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. There's no holiday traffic this time, so I am going slightly faster. But it is a cooler day, so it's only about 21, 22 degrees. And I'm not using uh, AC or any of the you know, ventilated seats as much. So about to hit 200 kilometers, uh, still averaging about 28 kilowatt hours per 100. down to 32%. At our first charging stop, down to 9%, 38 kilometers remaining, 262 kilometers. So we finished charging, another 100% charge, and we're going to head out to the next stop. 267 kilometers in Quebec. This is a flow fast charger uh, with chargers that are up to 180 kilowatts. Two hundred ninety kilometers and a prediction of 28%. I'm going to reset this and go to another trip meter. This is the Mallory Town South en route. Uh, this is where we charged last time. Uh, looks like the chargers. There's, looks like the chargers are full. First hundred kilometers from Kingston to Montreal. Slightly faster, no traffic, and of course more consumption. Thirty-two point three kilowatt hours. One of the things that VinFast has done to make charging as easy as possible is instead of having to have multiple apps, everything is integrated into the VinFast app. So all the different charging networks that are available, Circuit Electric, ChargePoint, etc., everything can be activated from the VinFast app and all paid through the VinFast app. So you don't have to have multiple apps and multiple balances on each app. We're going to choose the 100 kilowatt and start charging. Okay. 
everything starts up directly from the app and you just plug in the vehicle. Maxing out the charger at 200 amps. Resetting the trip meter and starting out with 96% and an estimated range of 412 kilometers. Going to turn on cruise control and see what the consumption is like when we stay under 120. Approaching our first 100 kilometers and we're going to take a look at what the consumption has been when we have it locked in at 110. So as expected, if you keep the speed under 120, consumption will be lower. Starting off the trip back to Montreal, I'm going to lock it in at 110 and it's always nice when you can start off your day fully charged. Stop charging. So we're approaching our first 100 kilometers and except for a few times when I was passing I've kept it at 110 and as expected I'm gonna it's probably gonna be under 25 kilowatt hours. That's 24.4. So as long as you keep your average speed below that sort of 110 level you can definitely hit a get very efficient mileage but it is a very boring drive. Approaching 200 kilometers, going to check the consumption again. Going to 200, so now we're under 24, so 23.3. Check on the battery level, down to 43%, then estimated 183 kilometers of range. Going back to the map, we've got 67 kilometers left to go. Starting the next part of the journey, resetting and heading out with 90% over to Ottawa. So we're making a stop here at a circuit electric because this is the last 100 kilowatt charger before you get into Ontario. And unfortunately in Ottawa, there are only 50 kilowatt chargers. So you've got a couple hundreds, 60s, and start charging. It'll be a quick top up and then we're gonna head into Ottawa. At 47%, we're pulling 82 kilowatts. And yes, this charger is at a gas station. Thirty-five minutes, eight percent. And just pulled in. 
broke 9,000 kilometers. Total is 26.3. Time to plug in.